Coming up next on Auto Show TV, an up-close walk-around of one of the SUV crossover leaders, the Toyota RAV4. Plus, into the mailbag with Jim Melvin at Tire Pros. Also, a look behind the scenes at reliable collision repair in West Warwick, fixing your car after an accident. Victoria looks at the all-new 2015 Subaru Legacy. And we get some used car deals at Ted's in Somerset. All that and more next on Auto Show TV. It's Auto Show TV. Good morning, I'm John Coletto. We're going to start today with a follow-up from last week's show when we told you that SUVs and crossovers are now outselling sedans. But here at Colonial Toyota in Smithfield, they have two top sellers in the category, the RAV4 and the Highlander. Today, we focus on the RAV. I'm Ashley Fishback. This morning, Auto Intelligence visits Colonial Toyota in Smithfield, and we check out the 2014 Toyota RAV4. Call it whatever category you want, small SUV, compact crossover, or crossover SUV. The 2014 Toyota RAV4 earns high praise from all major reviewers and places it high in their rankings yet again. Auto Intelligence likes the RAV4's style, interior room, peppy 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine, and smooth six-speed automatic transmission. The RAV4 boasts three models, and each comes in either front wheel or all wheel drive. I'm here with Amanda Sperry at Colonial Toyota. Amanda, I see RAV4s everywhere. Can you tell me about some of the features that make this car so desirable? Well, the RAV4 has a dynamic torque control all wheel drive system so that makes it super safe for people here in New England. It also has noise reducing acoustic front windshield, which makes it quieter in the cabin. Talk about the engine and the fuel economy. Well, this is going to be a four-cylinder engine. You're going to receive 176 horsepower with 172 foot-pounds of torque. You're going to get great gas mileage with this vehicle, 22 city and 29 highway. This new generation looks great, and I love this color blue. Yeah, this is Shoreline Blue in the Limited RAV4. Uh, you have a lot of great features, such as the LED headlamps. You have fog lamps, 18-inch alloy wheels, as well as adjustable roof racks, which make it a really nice, versatile vehicle. All right, Amanda, let's take a walk around back. So tell us about the height adjustable power lift gate. Well, it is fully adjustable, which is really nice, um, especially for people who are short like myself. <laughs> uh, it's very easy to be able to touch. Um, so when it's fully up, it can stop at a certain point, depending on your height and what you'd like. And as you can see, <laughs> we got Teddy in the back. We're going to put Teddy down for a moment. Hi, Teddy. <laughs> So back here, as you can see, we have plenty of cargo capacity. You can fit plenty of luggage back here, especially with a family of four going on a nice trip. Um, you also do have a tonneau cover, which is spring-loaded, which can be taken out or put up. So it can cover things from getting either too hot or from prying eyes that you might not want somebody to see what you have in the back. As well as underneath, we do have our spare tire um, with all the things that you need to change a tire. And then up here, we can close the lift gate with just a touch. That's easy. These seats are really comfortable and they seem really durable. Yeah, they are soft tech seats. They're very easy to clean, low maintenance, as well as an eight-way power driver's seat for extra comfort. They are heated as well which make it very convenient, especially in the winter. That's great, and I see that the steering wheel has some fun buttons to play with too. Can you tell yeah. me about those? Yeah, um, very simple and easy to use. Audio controls are on your left-hand side, Bluetooth controls are on your right-hand side, as well as the steering wheel is a tilt telescopic steering wheel, so it's easy adjustable for all different sizes. So Ashley, as you can see, we have a well-lit instrument panel, as well as a small LCD screen, which gives you a whole bunch of different displays, which you can change by hitting the display button on the right-hand side of the steering wheel. It'll give you average miles per an hour, your odometer, trips, as well as economy, which is very helpful. And now tell me about this touch screen right here. It's all touch. If you go ahead and hit apps for me, hit OK, and then go to your setup and then go ahead and click on home screen. Right here is how you can make a fully customizable home screen from a two panel to a three panel, depending on what features are most important for you. So if you wanna go ahead and change it to a three panel, just by hitting three panel on the bottom, 
And let's say we want to change the phone. So if you want to go ahead and tap on phone, and let's go ahead and put eco up. Now this is what our home screen is going to look like. So if you want to go ahead and press OK in the bottom right, and this is what it'll look like. And they'll see the backup camera here as well. Yes, yeah, so if you want to go ahead and put your foot on the brake and go ahead and put it in reverse. Oh, that's nice and clear. Yeah, it makes it very nice for you to be able to see what's behind you as well as a nice line um, to show you how close you are to your rear bumper. So Ashley, the RAV4 comes in three different trim levels. You have an LE, XLE, and Limited, which we're in today. In the XLE and the Limited, it comes standard with a power moonroof. So it's easy to see why the Toyota RAV4 is auto intelligence recommended. So do what I did. Check out the RAV4 and take a test drive here at Colonial Toyota in Smithfield, the place to buy or lease a Toyota. They're Auto Show TV's Toyota experts. Come join us under the gateway to savings at the new Colonial Toyota and join our mascot, Teddy. And remember, make us your last stop for your best deal. Colonial! Auto Show TV's Car Care Tips, presented by Melvin's Tire Pros, where buying tires and fixing your car is never a hassle. As always here on Auto Show TV, joined by Jim Melvin Jr., we're going to do a little bit of a sort of a mailbag email segment because we do get a lot of great comments about this part of our show, Jim. Uh, they really like your information. So the first one is about tire loudness. How come some tires just seem to be so loud? Well, John, the biggest issue with tire noise is generally in light truck tires, and it's real simple. The more aggressive the tread is, the more noise it's going to make. One of the things that happens is if you look at an aggressive tread in either a snow tire for a passenger car or an all-terrain tire for a light truck tire, these areas here are called high void areas. They have sound waves that go back and forth and therefore it generates noise. So the more aggressive the tire, the more noise it's going to make. Okay. Now if you get your tires rotated and now, you know, because it might have worn a little bit unevenly, is that going to affect the noise? Yes, it will. Sometimes, you know, with an alignment issue, for example, you'll get an adverse wear pattern called feathering or scalloping. That in itself will give you a noise that'll sound like a wheel bearing or a helicopter. So yes, it will. And a lot of times it's exaggerated by a more aggressive tread pattern. Okay. Uh, a car comes with a 16-inch standard tire, but it also can come, you know, maybe on some models, or oh, you can get the 17-inch tire. I thought a tire came, you know, a car came with one size. No, the vast majority of these cars will have, you know, uh, performance packages where they'll have larger wheels. The overall diameter is generally exactly the same. For example, going from a 16-inch wheel to a 17-inch wheel, you'll just have more wheel and less tire. So you'll have a smaller sidewall in the tire, but the overall diameter is generally exactly the same. Which is the better ride? Or can you really answer that? Difficult question to answer. A lot of it's going to be predicated on speed ratings, for example, which make cars handle better at various speeds. As a rule of thumb, the, the higher the tire rim diameter, the more of a performance tire you're going to have is going to give you a little bit better handling in a car. Okay. Jim, another question that we got, generic tires, mongrel tires, no-name tires versus the well-known brand names, aren't all tires the same? Not necessarily, no. One of the things that happens is you've got several, three or four large manufacturers who will make a myriad of different tire lines. Generally what they will do is the flagship brand will generally be the best casing. And when I say casing, I'm talking about the actual tire without any tread on it. It's going to be a truer casing. It's going to ride better. As you go down the food chain of the various brands, the casings will not be of the, the same quality as the flagship brand. Jim, my last question is my own question. I see retreads and shredded tires all over the highways. What's the cause of it? And I guess that means retreads are not very good. Well, John, I'll tell you, they've done studies on that, and the vast majority of those casings you see on the side of the highway are actually new tires. Now, New the, tires? Yes. What happens? The cause of it is loss of air pressure, and they just peel off the, off the, uh, the casing. Retreads are something that are really not made in passenger car situations. They're really just for medium trucks and tractor trailers, but I'll tell you, the quality of them is actually excellent. Well, there you go, some email and uh, questions from the mailbag action today on our feature with Jim Melvin. So if you have any other questions, come to Tire Pros, Jim Melvin Jr. Stop in to see us at Tire Pros, where buying tires and fixing your car is never a hassle. Next up, repairing your car after an accident. You're watching Auto Show TV. The official auto loan provider of Auto Show TV is Navigant Credit Union for all your new, used, and classic car and truck financing needs. 
You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good. But maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. Hey, Jeff here at Village Motors with exciting news. We have over 100 vehicles in stock, all competitively priced and come with an additional five-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Here's an example. Purchase this Toyota Solaro with 76,000 miles and you'll have coverage till 2018 or 176,000 miles. So hurry down, pick your vehicle, and add an additional five years and 100,000 miles to its current mileage. So visit us and experience why we have become Rhode Island's largest certified pre-owned dealer. Village Motors, a higher standard in pre-owned vehicles. Okay, so you've been in an accident, now what? Fortunately, no one was hurt, but your car's in tough shape and you need to get it fixed. Well, what do you know about body shops? Like any other business that provides a service, there are some really good body shops out there and some that just aren't. One of the very best in Rhode Island is this one, Reliable Collision in West Warwick. We're going into the world of the body shop today and we're gonna find out why Reliable is so good at what they do. Well, Randy, who's this you brought with you today? This is Harry. He's the company mascot here at Reliable Collision Repair. Take us through the process. The phone rings, it's someone who's been in an accident and now you and your staff here kind of spring into action. Yeah, first we establish whether their vehicle is safe to be driven or not and if it's been towed away by another facility. If it is, we'll send our tow truck to go pick up that vehicle, pay any charges that are owed on it. Uh, we'll also pick customers up at their home if they need and we'll bring them into our shop and we'll put them into one of our own rental cars. And if it's drivable, they just drive it into us and we take care of putting them in a rental car when they get here. Then you look at the vehicle and give them an estimate. We'll take a look at the vehicle, determine what the claims process is gonna be, whether it's gonna involve insurance. Then we'll uh, look at the vehicle to determine what the best way to go about handling the repair is. What makes us different here at Reliable Collision Repair is that I've worked hard to take a look at everything that happens after an accident. We try to give them peace of mind to take care of all of the problems and not just the collision repair aspect. Let's talk about the work that's done here in the shop. And, and I, I think people need to know that there's a, a lot of technology here. Maybe we could start with the laser frame straightening machine. Yeah. The measuring system that we utilize to measure customers' vehicles uh, uses laser technology. It measures the tolerances of the car within the thicknesses of a dime to make sure that the vehicle's brought back to exactly the specifications it was at prior to the accident. It can measure a whole multitude of different uh, places on the car. It's, uh, it's an expensive piece of equipment. Uh, I feel it's well worth it though in order to be able to document and show what was done. It also allows us to work on the vehicle while it's being measured. The process of welding and the welding technology has really come a long way in recent years. Yeah, there's been dramatic changes in the welding processes uh, that we see here in the collision repair aspect. The resistance welder that we have is what they refer to as a smart welder. The machine actually measures and tests the metal that it's going to be welding, sets itself, and then performs the weld and gives you an audible signal to let you know that the weld was performed properly. It makes it literally impossible to do an improper weld. Secondly, we have aluminum uh, welders, which again is something that's a little bit newer to the industry, but with the cars that are now coming out with high intensity use of aluminum, as well as ultra high strength steels, there's the need for aluminum as well as silicon bronze welding, all of which we have the equipment to do here. Well, Randy, as technology in the cars comes along, the technology to repair them has to keep up, I guess, right? Absolutely, not only that, also the training that we need to provide. Um, years ago was very basic and didn't have a lot of changes. Today, it takes constant upgrades and training in order for your technicians to be able to know what it is that they're working on as well as what the proper way to repair it is because an improper repair will have dramatic consequences later on if you're involved in another accident. Let's talk about paint and paint technology. Painting's changed dramatically from what it was years ago. They're extremely expensive but they're extremely durable. They'll last a long time. 
The technology involved in color matching is to the point now that we utilize uh, digital cameras with computer systems to back them up to be able to identify the color and the best way to match that color on the car. What should people know about OEM parts versus aftermarket parts? What I have here, John, is a demonstration to show the difference between a factory OEM part and a aftermarket imitation part. Right. You'll see that both of these parts are designed to be the rear bracket for a, uh, in this case, it's a Mazda vehicle. And the original bracket you'll see has reinforcements on two places, and you'll notice that the aftermarket part has none. You'll notice that the bottom has been boxed in, and you'll notice on this side it's just a couple of thin pieces of steel. And also the gauge of metal that this is made from is almost double what this piece is made from. The price difference between the two of these is quite a bit different. This one obviously being more expensive, the OEM part, but if you feel the weight difference between the two, you'll see that the aftermarket part weighs less than half of what the yeah. original part uh, weighs. It shows the dramatic difference that you can encounter between factory and uh, imitation parts. Right. Randy, I want to ask you, we, we hear radio and TV commercials about insurance companies and the people have a choice if they've been in an accident. You don't have to go to the repair facility that your insurance company suggests or recommends that you do. Can you talk about that? Absolutely. Uh, insurance companies have uh, agreements with certain shops. They'll direct their customers there because they have an agreement with those shops where they're getting discounts for their own benefit. So often that's the reason why they're directing you to go to those facilities. But customers have the right to have the car repaired wherever they choose. Uh, we've worked very hard myself, I'm a member of the Auto Body Association of Rhode Island, and we've worked very hard to make sure that people got that information through different laws that we had passed to make sure that the insurance companies did communicate that fact to the people. On your website and out on the sign out front, I see the Corvette. So tell us the story of the 67 vet. The 67 Corvette that became the company logo uh, was something that came out of the creation of my mind from seeing uh, other car companies that had built what they call resto mods. It's a car that looks old, but it has all the technology and conveniences of a late model car. So we built that car here in the shop with our skilled technicians from the ground up. Everything from the frame uh, to the convertible top on that car is completely redone and custom. So it has the performance of a new car, but it has the body style of an old car. So I have to ask you, if you run out of loaner cars, do you let people use the vet? Uh, it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Reliable Collision Repair is an auto intelligence recommended body shop in Rhode Island. They're located at 24 Begonia Street in West Warwick. We're back at Anchor Subaru this morning. Anchor is excited about the arrival of the redesigned 2015 Subaru Legacy. This is the sixth generation of the Legacy and already it's an auto intelligence recommended midsize sedan. The redesigned Subaru Legacy is now available here at Anchor. This legacy provides new safety technology, a quieter and more spacious interior, and excellent visibility. The new legacy is available in four and six cylinder engines, and for the first time, the six cylinder comes with a high torque CVT transmission that improves fuel economy. Subaru is known for its crossovers, but with the all new legacy, Subaru now has a very strong contender in the highly competitive midsize sedan category. I'm here again with Sean Murray. Sean, I've seen the Legacy all over the roads. So tell me more about it. Well, thank you, Victoria. The 2015 Subaru Legacy has been completely redesigned. It has an improved and beautiful look, more aerodynamic, better for fuel economy. As you can tell, the headlights are a little bit more sleek. The grille has that hexagon shape. You have LED lights in the headlights to make it look really neat at night. If you move over here, Victoria, and see the new wheel design, the wheels were actually designed for aerodynamics. They're lighter, so everything on this car is actually better for fuel economy. This car, by the way, gets now 36 miles to the gallon. That's great. If you look over here, the visibility is actually a lot better. They moved the mirror down on the door, and now they have these little corner windows, just like on the other models in Subaru. Again, that improves the visibility so down this pillar doesn't get in your way when driving. Come back here. Now everything in this car, 360 degrees around, has been redesigned and better improvement as far as a look, but you also have more space. If you pop the trunk here, you have more space in the back seat, and the seats also fold down now. It's a 60-40 split. Also, 
we have now a full-size spare on an alloy wheel. From previous years, we had a steel wheel, and now it's an alloy. Great. Victoria, also new for 2015, the backup camera you're familiar with, but now we have the rear cross traffic alert. It works on a radar system. So basically, when you're in a parking lot, and you got cars on either side of you and you're trying to back up and there's a car coming and you're cross traffic, it'll actually alert you and let you know that that car is coming with radars that are built into the bumpers of the car. Great. Now I'm going to show you a couple of extra things inside because the new 2015 Subaru Legacy has a ton of new technology that you'll be fascinated about. Let's take a look. If you look on your left, we're going to move left to right here. So you have automatic windows now on both driver and passenger. So that's automatic up and down. Okay, one touch system. Now on the limited, you also have memory seats. People have been begging for years on Subarus for memory seats. We finally have them on the limited models. We have an electronic parking brake over here, which is in a little bit different positioning. It used to be on the left. Now it's right below the shifter, which is a little bit more convenient for the driver. The steering wheel is still a tilt and telescope, which means the steering wheel will go up, down, in and out. The improved steering wheel controls are one of my favorite features about the new 2015 Legacy. It's actually so improved that you have this button here, which that button will actually bring up your list. So for example, if you have an iPod connected, you can actually scroll through your entire search and playlist and art, album and artist using the steering wheel controls, which is a lot safer than coming over to the screen while driving. You also have your voice recognition and your Bluetooth. Moving goes for the right, the limited model with the navigation now has a sleek remote that is a keyless access and start, okay? So actually, if you want to hold the brake for me and push this engine start button just once. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So the new Starlink system is an improved touchscreen, more responsive. All right, so this is our radio screen. Radio screen is nice and easy to read. It's in full color. On the left side, you have your presets. New and improved, it actually does have HD radio, but also now it'll tell you what stations are HD radio available or not. The new information center will show you sports, weather, stocks, vehicle monitor, eco monitor, and maintenance reminder, and fuel. There's a lot going on here. We'll start with weather. If you hit weather for me, please. It'll actually show you the forecast. It'll show you the current forecast, three to six hour, and forecast for the seven day, which is actually nice. And you can select your city, you can change the uh, area that you're in, or it'll automatically show the area that you're in right now. If you hit home for me again, please. And then info one more time. So you have vehicle monitor and eco monitor. This is really neat because in past years it was in a smaller screen, now it's built into your bigger screen. So for example, we're gonna hit eco monitor, then it'll show you your fuel economy, what you're getting for average fuel economy, how many miles you have until empty, and then fuel history. Underneath here, if you push that for me and open her up, you have two USBs, an auxiliary input, and then a power jack as well. The two USBs, you can actually plug in two iPods at one time. And then in the center console, you have plenty of storage, and then you also have another power outlet inside with a tray for your change. Great. Again, this is a limited model with moonroof package, so you do have your moonroof with manual sh uh, shade. It tilts, and it goes back and forth. And then your ever so famous sunglass holder. And then it also comes with the auto dimming mirror with the home link for the garage doors. Well, Victoria, this is the 2015 Subaru Legacy. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. If you want to learn more, you can come visit us right here in North Smithfield on 140, Route 146, or you can go to our website at anchorautogroup.com, and we hope to see you soon. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good. But maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. Distracted driving can be deadly. You're 23 times more likely to be involved in an accident while texting and driving. Don't become another statistic. I'm attorney Larry Signori. Don't text and drive. If you'd like more information about any of the dealers and deals you've seen on today's show or would like to view previous episodes of Auto Show TV, go to our website, theautoshow.tv. Back on Auto Show TV, time to check out some great deals on some pre-owned vehicles here at Ted's Auto Sales on Route 6 in Somerset. 
Mark Mannion is with us as always. Ted's Auto Sales is a great place to get a used vehicle. Not only that, but they really do a good job helping with financing. I know you work with people even if they don't have the best of credit to really work your tails off to get them a good rate. Yes, absolutely. We have several programs in place, one being a first time buyer. Uh, we also have an, an array of great lenders that work in the area with us. Uh, fill out an application online, we'll be glad to get you pre-improved. Makes it easy for customers. And August is a really good month to buy, correct? Always, always. And uh, this time of year our inventory is uh, busting at the seams. We've got great imports, great trucks, crossovers, uh, subcompact, uh, you name it, we have it. Let's check it out. All right. First car we have to show you today is 2008 Lexus IS250. This is the all-wheel drive edition. If you know anything about the Lexus, it's fit and finish, it's second to none. This vehicle features the paddle shifters, the moonroof, the leather seats, attitude in a bag. And this week's special is $16,995. Superior visibility, functionality, affordability, all things that describe the Chevy HHR. This one's 2009, it's a one owner vehicle, it's an automatic, only 62,000 miles. Seating for five, and this week's special, $99.95. Come get it at Ted's. Responsive, nice wide stance, mega curb appeal are all things that describe the Acura TL. This one, 2004, automatic, everything you would expect a leather interior, the moonroof, the heated seats, fog lights, Bluetooth technology. Only 97,000 miles. This week's special, only $11,995. One of the leaders in the crossover market, 2007 Ford Edge SEL all-wheel drive. This one features the chrome wheels, the dual panoramic moonroof, premium audio, only 67,000 miles. You get it on special this week at $15,500. Come get it. Toyota, 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 2004 Tundra SR5 double cab. Premium audio, leather seats. Got it on special this week, only 76,000 miles, 15.5. Get it before someone scoops it. Just in, 2006 Dodge Ram 1500 Quad Cab Laramie Edition. Laramie Edition gives you power trailing mirrors, the chrome package, power sliding rear window, premium audio, leather interior, only 99,000 miles. $16,995 takes it home this week at Tex. Thanks again for tuning in to our segment this week on Auto Show TV. If you have any questions about any of the vehicles you've seen, 508-677-9517 or on the web at tedsautosalesinc.com. Remember, we have a lot of financing specials. You can always go to the website, fill out an application, we'll get you pre-approved. Thanks, Mark. Don't forget, visit our website, theautoshow.tv, to find out more about our recommended dealerships here on Auto Show TV, as well as to see recent episodes of the show. Have a safe week on the roads, everybody. Remember, don't drink and drive, and don't text and drive. This has been Auto Show TV, produced in cooperation with Auto Intelligence, thanks to our participating dealers and sponsors. This has been Auto Show TV, 